Hi everyone, it's Stefana Muller, your product manager for CA Service Virtualization. Today I'm going to be going through just some quick items in the new All Resources tab in the Dev Test Portal. So if you log into the Dev Test Portal, you'll be able to see now under the Manage area, this is in uh, Build 8.0.2, uh, you'll see the All Resources tab. You can click on that tab to see every resource you have under all the projects that you have in your uh, saved in your projects folder. Uh, so if you look here, I, I have listed two projects. These are the default projects. If in fact I had more, you'd have a pagination at the bottom. Um, you can actually do a few things that are very helpful. You can sort by different ascending or descending on a specific column. You can remove uh, a column or hide a column. And you also have the ability to filter by columns. And you can show this filter and it shows up right here. So if I were to filter by description, I can start putting words and uh, letters in here and auto filters. I'm going to actually show you how it can filter by a specific project. If I type in bank v6, it will show me only bank version 6 instead of bank version 5 pro uh, items. Um, some of the things that you can see here uh, as well is that when you look at a virtual service versus uh, a test suite, let me just sort by virtual services. If you look at a virtual service, you can have the actions of deploy or download that MAR file for archive. Uh, you also have the ability to click on the file to go edit it. So if I click on HTTP, it opens up that virtual service that was already recorded and it loads it in the separate screen for editing. Now, if I go back to my all resources tab, I'm gonna actually right click on uh, on this bank v5 test suite you can see that you have different options here because it's a test suite so you're going to be able to run run with different options or download the bar from here and then if you go and open it again it opens the test suite and it'll allow you to to take action at that point it shows you some of the documentation as well so um, if I go back to my All Resources tab, I have the, uh, another ability. I have the ability to add a project here. This is very basic, add a project in case you don't have access to the file system where the projects are saved. So I can click Add a Project, put my project name here. Uh, I'll put a description and then click OK. Once you click OK, the, the next thing that happens is a an all test suite gets created in that new project. Um, so anytime you add a test to this new project, all the, te uh, the test gets added to this suite. The good thing about that is it shows up in this dialog here, so you'll be able to see that my new project was created. Um, it automatically refreshes, but in any case that it wouldn't refresh, you can refresh the panel uh, using your browser, or you can refresh the panel using this refresh button on the right and it will refresh the screen. Um, and as you can see here, I can also you know, sort by or filter by that specific new project area uh, as well. Okay, some of these are just some of the quick new tips in the dev test portal. You still have the access on your left side of your screen to access your resources as you do today. Uh, this is helpful when you want to open multiple files at the same time without navigating back and forth. Um, but in any case, we have the All Resources tab that helps you find everything at once, especially when you have thousands of projects and thousands of resources within your projects. Uh, well, that's all for today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.